This is to find you and representative with geometric models. So today I'm here with Dan Winter, pioneer at fractal field physics. So we will be talking about the secrets of scaling to Planck and uh, their its implications to uh, architecture and uh, sacred geometry. So uh, Dan, take it over. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Dan Winter with Tufan Guven. So you know our main website fractalfield.com, but the new book where we really do this deep science of the new principles, planckfire.com, P-L-A-N-C-K, P-H-I-R-E, planckfire.com. And that is the core principle here, that is charge collapse, literally implosion, that centripetal force is literally the cause of life force, the cause of gravity, the cause of consciousness, the cause of all self-organization or negentropy. It's powerful. And today we're here talking specifically about living architecture. So just to review the idea that the concept of Planck Fire, which is one of the number one books on Amazon in wave mechanics, is most physics already agreed that charge collapse is the cause and mechanism of gravity and consciousness. What was not known until now is the cause of charge collapse itself. And what it turns out is if you take that, that wavelength, which is the universal key signature of the universe, it's called the Planck length, visualize it at the center of light cones imploding, and you multiply by powers of golden mean ratio, which is fractality self-embedding perfected. So Planck length times integer exponents of golden ratio, you get what's called Planck fire, which is which is the flame around Planck, the musical key of the universe. And that is fractality perfected, implosion perfected, charge collapse perfected, negentropy perfected, and kind of magic. <laughs> so for example, if you take Planck and multiply by a uh, golden ratio to the 164 power <laughs> with uh, Tufan's amazing new Planck tuner, Yes, you get the <laughs> sacred foot. You get and and the British sacred foot is the root and cause of all other sacred dimensions, and the, and the fun part of that is, you know, you you wonder how the ancient uh, Sumerian tablet, and this is credit to Tufan really. So he's got the actual size of the ancient Sumerian tablet, and if you put the golden spiral on top of that, it actually fits the cross points here perfectly in the Sumerian tablet, which happens to be. Uh, miraculously. How did they know? You, you got this exact... Wait, now let's set this to one foot. Let me set, set it to one foot. So, you know, all of ancient sacred dimensions was based on the British foot. Yeah, okay. Can you... Yeah, okay. And so there is... How did not only they know to put perfect golden spiral in the action in the actual dimensions of the ancient tablet of Shumash, but they actually scaled it to Planck times golden ratio. There's the British foot on the Sumerian tablet. Just bring it in here just a little bit. Yeah, I'll say, that's, that's good, good. So here's the point, that the ancients actually understood not just ratio, but scale, sacred dimension. The reason was that implosive charge collapse defines sacred space, defines sacred dimension, because that centripetal force at center actually, for example, is the reason seeds germinate, literally, electrically. It's the reason you have bliss when you go into a temple. So if you design temple with the proper ratio and the proper scale, using the Planck tuner, for example, you have the possibility to make sacred space because the center is imploding like steering tornadoes. And that is the actual cause of life and bliss in those sacred spaces. And we have this 3D model, which is the Star Mother Kit, also from Tufan at geometricmodels.org, and which is a 3D model, which we actually now have proven <laughs> is the structure of hydrogen itself. And that, that golden proportion times Planck is literally the width times the height of the inner uh, geometry of DNA itself of one ladder rung is his uh, Planck scale and it is the actual wavelength of the only two frequencies of color that cause photosynthesis mm -hmm. and it is the radii of hydrogen and many other things as you see at plantfire.com. So discovering this new pure principle of charge collapse is the key to optimizing and creating life force in general. For example, that then predicts what are the Schumann harmonics, which happen to be the exact same frequencies, to make brainwave harmonics to create bliss, which is also implosion, measured at flameandmind.com. This is commercial in water vortex, the imploder.com, in plasma at therify.net. So there are many ways to implement this new idea, but once we understand the actual geometry and principle of implosive charge collapse, 
We can optimize for life. We can even design the electrical geometry which enables lucid dreaming and successful death. There's this whole other aspect of this that when this compression is correct around your body, you create what's called coherent longitudinal EMF, sometimes called scalar, and those longitudinal compressional waves are actually the stuff which enables lucid dreaming and therefore taking memory through death. There's clues to the physics of ancestor memory, the physics of clairvoyance. I mean, this is a fun story. <laughs> and, and the physics of al alchemy, by the way, which is actually charge collapse. And all of this is coming up soon at a neighborhood theater. I mean, at a neighborhood fractalu.com <laughs> online near you, all free <laughs> every Sunday, 2 p.m. New York time. We have courses on this. Tufan and I are moderating at fractalu.com. Check it out. We'd love you to join us. This is going to be fun. And the interesting thing is about the Planck scaling is that because uh, this specific universal frequency cascade that was originally formulated by Dan Winter is the fundamental force behind the most critical biological functions and the celestial systems shows us that we can integrate this into the architectural world and create a uh, life force and uh, spaces that support the auras and uh, seed germination. Yeah, ask your local physicist who might not know why objects fall to the ground. Ask your local physicist why golden ratio is the dominant geometry of all hydrogen geometry. And then ask, why is golden ratio the dominant geometry of all orbital mechanics? Ask them that question. Because you see, that charge collapse is what stabilizes and organizes all negentropy, including gravity and atmosphere. These are exciting new times where we can understand the really core principles of life and bliss and consciousness. So we'd like you to come over and play with us at FractalU.com. Yes, we have a great <laughs> curriculum at FractalU.com. And this Sunday, we will be talking about alchemy with Terry Burns and Dan Winter. So please uh, join us at 2 p.m. New York time every Sunday for four months. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of wonderful speakers lined up. Uh, Terry is amazing, has communicated with the angelic forces, John D. and the science of alchemy. I mean, this Sunday is going to be very esoteric and fun. So, yeah, come and play. Thank you. Thanks all. We had fun. <laughs> all right. So See you soon. I press X? I don't want to... Mm -hmm. Let me see. Sorry, guys. This is the first time that we are using this. <laughs> um, if, if you press live... Or, uh, uh, oh, let's try this. Are you sure you want to end your live video? Yeah, end.